Hello everyone, Max here with AOM Website Pro and today we're continuing our lessons for the LibreOffice Writer. So once you have it installed, if you don't have it installed or anything, please go back to the previous video, the previous lesson at AOM Website Pro and get the links to install this free and wonderful program that replaces Microsoft Word and many others. But we're going to go down to our, to our start menu. Mine may look a little different because I'm on a Linux system, but if you're on Mac, do your launcher. Or if you're on Windows, just hit your start button. It'll do the same thing. And we want to start in by typing in Libre. Libre. And then you're going to have the different applications that you downloaded. And we're going to go to this one, Libre Office Writer. Now when the program fires up, you're going to notice uh, there's a bunch of icons going across the top here, as well as menu items, okay? Now we can add more icons to the LibreOffice Writer, okay? And we can remove icons, different features that we don't want, okay? So for example, just to, uh, maybe I want some formatting, like I want to be able to center my text, make them bold. I don't see that up here right now. But if we go to, um, oh, let's see, let's go to View, and then we come down here to Toolbars, and then we scroll down to here where it says Formatting. Now when I click this button, notice what happens. Okay, see, now these icons down here appear. All right. Now you have these same exact icons under the styles menu, okay? You got them up here. You got the bullet list. Here you have the bullet list. You know, you have uh, you can edit your styles. So these are these are your styles, your formatting styles, okay? Then you have your headings, heading 1, heading 2, heading 3, the title. So if I would write uh, this is a title here, Okay, and I highlighted it, and over here where it says default style, I could select title there. But if I did not have this uh, icon, this uh, these icons up here, I could go to styles, and I could hit title, and it does the same exact thing. Okay, so as we continue down, maybe I want a subtitle. Now, if I highlight this, notice this is part of the text body right now. And uh, maybe I wanted this to be a subtitle. I could hit it here, right? Or I can hit Control on Z to just to Control Z to undo what I did. And then I'll go up to Styles, and right here I'll hit Subtitle. Okay? So that's, that's pretty much how it works. Now, let's go on and make a heading. This is a heading one just like so I can highlight this and you'll notice up here it still says text body but if I go down once again I hit heading one it makes it a heading one now I'm gonna hit control Z to undo what I did I'm gonna go up to here to styles and if I do the heading up here you'll notice once again I get my heading format my style I need it. I'll hit Control Z and undo it one more time because there's something else that I want to show you. If we go to Styles and we down here to Heading 1, notice there's a Control 1. These are your quick keys. Okay? So if I'm here and I don't have anything at the top, let's say that I'm writing without any menus, which we can do that. Let me go to View. And I, if I hit Control Shift J, go full screen. All right, and I want to make this a heading, and I'm writing in this mode. I'll hit Control One on my keyboard, and notice that I have my heading. Now the same is true. Let's uh, this this is a paragraph. Okay, and let's go uh, heading two, and maybe I want this to be heading two, so I'm going to hit Control. Two, and notice that now it's a, the second heading and then the, let me go ahead and we'll do one more heading three I'll highlight this hit control three and you can see there that I have another heading that's slightly smaller they get smaller as they go down so heading one there's a title which is the biggest then heading one then heading two heading three all right now if I want to exit my full screen I could just hit escape on my keyboard Okay, or click that little thing there. 
Now to get these things to appear and not appear, let's say that I wanted my, uh, my paragraph centered for some reason. I could hit this uh, center horizontally, or I could align it to the right. I can make it uh, justified, you know, like a legal document. I could also make it a uh, bullet list, or a numbered list. See how I'm doing these things? It's, it's very easy to do. Okay. Now, let's go over a couple of the other things. The correlations between the text menu and the icon menu. Okay, because there's a, there's a lot of them, but we're just going to go over a few right now. If I wanted a new document on the writer here, I could do different things. I can hit Control N on my keyboard, N is a new, Control N, and see what happens. It brings up a new LibreOffice Writer document. But if I go this, you can see behind it, there's the one that we were working on. I'm going to go close that out. Another way that we can have a new document is just simply click on this LibreOffice uh, new document icon and it'll bring up a another writer document. Okay. Or you could do the old fashioned way, go to File, New, and then Text Document. Just like that. Alright, so there's several different ways to do the same thing. So don't let this menu item confuse you. You know, if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Okay. We're going to be going on uh, with uh, more advanced tutorials, but uh, you might, if we want to save something, let's let's go ahead and save something first. The, this, doc, this little icon here is the save. Okay. Or I, hit, I can hit control S. That brings up for something to save. I can hit this, and that is the same as hitting Control S. Or I could do the old fashioned file, save, and it does the same exact thing. And I'm just going to write test on here. I'm going to save it on the desktop, and hit save just like so. All right. Now I'm, I'm going to hit Control N for a new document. And let's say that I wanted to open the original document. Let me go ahead and close this one out totally. So we're firing up a, a LibreOffice Writer, and we want to go back in, and we want to work on that same document that we were working on. Well, this little icon right here with the folder, you can open it, at, open it this way. There's our test.odt, right? We can go to File, Open, and then get get the same get to the same exact uh, place where we can open it, right? We can also hit Control O on our keyboard, and that also brings us to the place where we can open it. So I'm going to click on this, I'm going to hit Open, and you can see this is the document that we were just working on. And if we want to full screen it, this this little button up here with the two arrows, we could full screen it. And if we don't don't want to full screen it, we could click that again. So it toggles back and forth from full screen to window. Okay. All right. So don't let this confuse you. Most of these icons can be added or taken away by going up to your uh, view, and then like let's let's take off the status bar and notice look towards the bottom of the screen here. Notice that status bar is now gone. So if I hit view and I go back here and let me go down to the status bar right here. Now it's back on. And this just lets me know what page I'm on, how many words there is. Uh, don't worry about this just yet. We'll come to that. Uh, how many words, how many characters, the default style, so on and so forth. And here we could zoom in or we can zoom out okay, of our document. So if it's too big or too small, okay? So those are different things that we can utilize and take advantage of. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of the formatting. Um, view, toolbar layout. Sometimes it's a little fun funky. Okay, so I got rid of that. Let's see what else we could get rid of. View the status bar, get rid of the status bar, view, uh, 
well you want it to track your changes we could okay this sidebar that we have up here we could get rid of it that was on the other side let me show you the sidebar I'm going to click on it again and let it appear and you see this and this you could toggle it in and out there's little arrows here and this basically has your styles and your headings and you know the different properties that they use so if, if we want this to show we don't want it to show here let me get the letters back up there for you so we go to view sidebar and now it's gone okay here's another one over here that I have and basically this is my navigation okay where I could go in I can put, see all my hyperlinks my references my indexes you know in comments and drawing objects different things that I have within this document okay I'm just gonna leave that on there but you'll go down through here and what you want select what you want and what you don't want and that is the great thing about this this little thing navigator that's what I was telling you about see it disappeared and then views go back to navigator because I like to have mine on now notice there is a quick key of F5 sometimes most of the time this they work sometimes they don't but they always work whenever you come up to here to the uh, text menu okay now for uh, these different uh, viewing styles you're not going to see them on the icons usually there are a couple uh, exceptions for example if you wanted to see what the print view would be you go to this print preview icon and it'll show you what it'll look like on a piece of paper so and then if you toggle it off toggle it on and that's how it will look all right uh, this particular one you can export this to a PDF document and the, the great thing about the PDF document is when you're sending it to somebody else and they don't have LibreOffice Writer, they'll still see the exact same formatting that you have. So you export it as a PDF, which is portable document format, and basically just about everybody has this on their computer, and they'll be able to read it just the way you styled it with your style of text, your picture placement locations, any graphs or charts that's why we use PDF to make sure that we have the same format that we wrote it wrote it in okay all right so that's going to conclude this lesson for the Libre Office writer and what we're basically comparing is the the quick keys the text menu and the icon menu and how they correlate together Okay, now we're going to be going over this other stuff like tables, inserting images, and a chart, you know, text boxes, uh, a page break, so on and so forth. There's different things that we will have in here that we're going to go over as we work through this. So maybe in the next uh, lesson we'll be going over those in a little bit more detail. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below and in the next lesson. Thanks.